solid geometry. So in solid geometry, we are going to see about the rectangular box, which is also called as cuboid or the cuboid. The cuboid and cube, the differences in cuboid, all the three sides, that is length, breadth and height need not be same. This is length, breadth and height. They need not be same, whereas in the cube, all the length, breadth and height are same. And then you are going to see about the cylinder, cone and the sphere. Also the hemisphere. Hemisphere is nothing but half of the sphere. Now, the basic thing which you have to see here is, it's not like in other geometry where a lot of twisted questions will be given. So most of the questions in your solid geometry will be the straight question where the cuboid, you have to know the volume and the total surface area. The volume is length into breadth into height. So this is length into breadth into height. What is the total surface area? Total surface area, there is each surface area when you consider this top and the bottom will be the two sides where you will have the area as length into breadth. When you consider this side, this is the L and this is H. So length into height again is going to be two times. And then when you consider this other side, so you can see here, this is height and this is breadth, so breadth into height. So each is going to be repeated two times. Totally you have six faces, so two faces are repeated in each cases. So therefore, you will have two times of LB plus BH plus HL. Now in the case of Q, the cube, as I said, all the sides are equal. You can consider the side as A. So all the three sides are A. So the cube, again the length into breadth into height is A into A into A, which is A cube. Now here are the total surface area. The same thing, each side, that is for this particular face, you are going to have A into A is square. Down also you have the same thing. Similarly, when you consider this particular area, A into A and this side also A into A. So all are repeated again, A square, A square, A square. So all the three are A squares so are two times of that. So the similar to this, you are going to have A square, A square, A square and two times of that. So total is going to be six A square. That is the, totally there are six faces and each side the area is going to be A square. The next is cylinder. What is the volume of the cylinder? pi r square h. So this is the radius. The radius is half of this and this is the height. And volume of the cylinder is pi r square h. Now the total surface area. So here the total surface area is going to include the circle here and the bottom, the two circles plus the middle area. So here when you consider the middle area, when you open this, just cut this and open it, it's going to be a rectangle. The two circles area is going to be this pi r square, two times of that, that's the area because the same thing is repeated down and here the middle area, this length is nothing but the overall circumference. The circumference of the circle is 2 pi r and this is the height, the same height is going to be there. So therefore the area of this is 2 pi r into h that is 2 pi r h. So some of these two is going to be your surface area. So this common term you can take it out 2 pi r the remaining what you have is r plus h. So this is 2 pi r into r plus h. Next is the cone. The cone actually has a volume which is one third of the cylinder. So this is nothing but one third of pi r square h. And then the surface area. So you can see this is a circle down. You have a circle which is again the radius is r and this is the height h and this is a slanting length l. So the surface area is going to be circle down that is pi r square plus 
conical surface area is going to be pi r l. Therefore, you have this common term as pi r and then you have r plus l. So, this is pi r, r plus l. Next, you have the sphere. So, sphere again the total volume of the sphere is, sphere is nothing but like a ball, it is 3D dimension. So, the sphere volume is going to be 4 by 3 pi r cube. Then the total surface area of the sphere will be 4 pi r square. Similarly, hemisphere is half of this sphere. So, half of the sphere is again half of this volume. So, it is going to be 2 by 3 pi r cube and hemisphere when you consider this half of this you are going to have a circle also in the bottom with this half of this uh, sphere. So, the circle is going to create one more area. So, therefore, you have half of this is 2 pi r square. So, 2 pi r square is going to be the half of the area of this plus that bottom one more circle is at pi r square. So, total is going to be 3 pi r square. 